Hello, this is Al from the Zenfango community. Today I'm going to show you how to install a copy of OpenCAD on a Zenfango X server. Don't forget to visit us on zpanelcp.com and don't forget also to go to the forums, register and if you have any comments please go to the general chat and please just enter anything you want to ask. Anyway, start by going to the OpenCAD website. If you don't know, just Google it. Press on uh, the actual link. Click on the load and download the latest version. In my case, I'm going to download the version 1.5. Uh, sorry, 1.5.4.1. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Once I have saved it, I'm going to extract the actual content of the zip file to the actual desktop, ready to be uploaded to the server. Inside the folder, you will find a an upload folder. You need to make sure the actual content of this upload folder is uploaded to the actual root of your server or the actual root of your domain. Now we're going to use the actual program FTP or FileZilla, the actual real name is. So, as you can see, the actual content of upload. I'm going to open the program FileZilla. That is an FTP program. You can use any FTP programs you like. I'm going to uh, log in now to the server. Please go to YouTube channel if you don't want to. Use set up an FTP account on ZPanel X. I am sure I got a, uh, a tutorial made for that. If it's not, just come to the forum and you can ask there. You can find all the information anyway on the forum. Everything has been uploaded to the right folder. I'm going to choose the cms-tutorials.dk this is the actual domain, a free domain that I'll be using for my tutorials. It may take some time to upload unless you got uh, everything local that goes a little bit faster. Once you have uploaded the entire folder, you can minimize or you can close it. But bear in mind, you need to come back to do some changes. I'm going to pause it for a second so it's going to finish, otherwise, it's going to take some time. Here we go. Now everything has been uploaded to the server. Now I'm going to open my browser and I'm going to the Z panel X control panel. When I can start the creating the database and the user. Now I'm going to click on my SQL database. And I'm going to insert the actual name for it. In this case, it's going to be OpenCAT. Press Create. Then I'm going to Database, MySQL User. 
I'm going to insert the name for the username. In this case, I'm going to put Ubercat again. And I'm going to map to the actual database that I chosen before. In this case, Ubercat. Press create. And again, the user has been created with the actual password. I'm going to close a couple tabs here. Open a new one, and I'm going to choose the CMS tutorial website now. And I'm going to start the installation. I'm going to click on the agree to license, continue, and make sure that everything is fine. Then press continue. Now I'm going to insert all the information that I just created earlier on for the database. If you don't remember the details, you can just go back to the panel and you're going to, I'm going to actually copy and paste. You can do the same. Now I'm going to put down the database name. Z admin underscore opencat for myself. The user opencat. I'm going to copy and paste the password. Then I'm going to choose the username and the password. I'm going to choose something easy for just tutorial. I'm going to put down admin and admin. And I'm going to insert my email. Although it's a fake email anyway. It's just for the demonstration only. I'm going to press continue. Ah, there is an error there. I can see it. Uh, I misspelled the user. I put open cat rather than open cart with R. I'm going to press continue. Now everything should be okay. Here we go, everything's done. Now what I'm going to do is back to the FTP program, FileZilla. I'm going to log in and I'm going to delete the installation folder. That's it. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to close the program. I'm going back to the browser. And I'm going to log in in the front end of the actual program. There we go, we got the OpenCAT up and running. And I'm going to the administration side of it. I'm going to log in with the login password. In that case, it was admin and admin. Press login. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash mangolman and don't forget for any comment please come to our forum on zpanelcp.com few users have emailed me regarding why I have turned off the comments on YouTube is because I want everybody to go to the forum and ask questions thank you very much again I'll see you next time for the next tutorial